What is going on, Lunatics? Guys, we're here for another day to figure out what is going on in the Luna Classic ecosystem. And, you know, the, the markets are not having a great time right now. Bitcoin now down to 63,000, probably. Uh, just printed a red dot on the daily or is printing a red dot on the daily. And that could be uh, a real sentiment of downside. Now, of course, we're a little bit after the halving. So we anticipated 30 to 60 days of sideways movement. Uh, sideways movement would include some downward sort of pressure and some upward sort of pressure as the uh, vultures come in and try to sweep liquidity pools. Uh, something like 400 million or 200 million has been liquidated over the last 24 hours in long positions. So um, a lot of trading going on, a lot of uh, capitulation by bulls at the moment. But when those happen, that usually is a portent that we're going to see a big reversal and we're going to start to explore some all, all new highs. Now, that sideways trading does lead to a wane on price for Luna Classic and interest, by the way, because the halving is here, the excitement is over, the ETFs have slowed because of all of this, the Hong Kong ETF, the, the Bitcoin and Ethereum have not really launched yet. So there's pieces in place that will be catalysts, but they're just not here yet. So we're going to break some of this stuff down here, not the, the Bitcoin and Ethereum. That's for a different time. Uh, we're going to break down Lunk and what's going on in the Lunk community. Now, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified. If you want people in the Luna Classic community to be looking, then it, it, is, it is upon you, the viewer, to share this content with as many people as you can. I will post this on YouTube and I will post it on X and it's up to you guys to share it. The more you share it, the more people potentially tune in, the more people potentially get educated on what is going on in this community and potentially get educated on all of the projects that are in this community and the better off we are. So uh, let's get into it. All right, guys, first up, we've got a little bit of debate from CCN.com. You can go check this article out if you want to. I won't get too much into it, but uh, Duquan Terraform paying $5.3 billion. They're fighting, saying it should be somewhere in the neighborhood of $3.5 million, that Duquan would pay no more than a million. And the question being asked is, why is this so much more than everything else that's happened before? And... Um, it, basically, the SEC is trying to charge them a lot of money and, and get them for a lot because they feel like since they're already bankrupt, there's only limited amounts that they can probably come up with and get. So uh, it, 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 mostly the article is kind of summarizing that. Why is there a personal penalty that's bigger than uh, than, than CZ Binance, stuff like that? A uh, little, little weird that we're, we're trying to pick it apart and figure it out. However... Um, there is a question and, and this court is going to have to, and by the way, this, the, 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 the court, I believe that's Jed Rakoff, Rakoff token holler. So, uh, this a stance appears to be, uh, it appears to be part of a broader strategy and a more uh, robust strategy with the SEC trying to keep people in line and look, we can talk about the reasons, but, um, I, I'm not sure what those reasons are really. Uh, as far as price action goes and communication about price action, there's a few little articles out here, but uh, among those is raising the commission to 2.5 cents for validators. Now, remember, we did it to five before. It didn't work, so we went to 2.5 now. Uh, and the IBC hook is coming in. Now, that takes us to station. Right now, we're, we're restoring the IBC to Kujira. Uh, this is the Rakoff team, by the way. Shout out to Jed Rakoff, you octogenarian. Ugh. Uh, anyway, so uh, they're using Tendermint 171. Want to upgrade it to a more robust, usable version of 248. So uh, vote yes on this. Pass threshold, as you can see right here, this is going to pass. Uh, but what also passed over here? Minimum commission 2.5. Uh, change the reward share distribution of the burn tax and decrease the maximum block set. So you know, we're looking for security pieces, stuff like that. Um, what you don't see here is that 10x commission structure. So you know that didn't pass. So you know we're we're still we're still living the dream guys so <laughs> um uh, now the community guidelines here let's close this out right here we don't need that 
list of companies, software houses with explicit expertise in Cosmos. This is for people who want to look for builders. Uh, this is enhance, enhancing validator efficiency in Terra Classic, governance rules to prevent double uh, and network validating. Uh, you know, this is to stop people, bad actors, in my opinion, like Jesus is Lord and Jesus is Lord too, uh, from doubling down on their control of this network and then voting against your better interest because you continue to, 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 to validate with them, which is wild to me, but it's your choice. Uh, then the messaging comment system. Uh, ban religion, can't do that. That's decentralized. It's none of your business. Uh, the ultimate replay plan. Uh, so we've, we've gone through that. I'm not a fan of it. You know, I, I'm, I'm letting it sit with me for a little bit while, of, of time. Maybe somebody's going to come up and convince me that, hey, you know, this is actually a really good idea. And then they're going to explain to me why. And then I'll know why, because right now it doesn't feel that way. So now let's talk about price action and where we're going on price. And then we're going to talk about a new project. So uh, stick with me. Uh, this is going to get fun. So uh, price action did exactly what we said it was going to do. What did it do? Well, it went through this, uh, uh, went through this flag pattern here. Now, of course, you know, flag patterns like that, when it comes down from this range and then sp spikes back up here, that looks like it's a, a bullish reversal. Uh, and it did break out, broke out uh, to the point of control over here at the 618, a little bit above that. And then it came up into that golden ratio, uh, kind of bounced around in here before getting rejected over the last two days because there is bearish pressure in the market. Now, that did lead to a move back down into this flag pattern where we got a tiny bit of reversal. Now, over the last couple of hours, it might not seem like there's a reversal going on, but there is, in fact, a reversal going on. Again, if you look at something and it, anything could happen, but if you're looking at the bottoms, the bottoms, the bottoms, now the bottoms are starting to move upwards. Uh, when this candle closes, we'll have a little bit more confirmation. But if we do that, then that is a short-term bullish reversal. Maybe it looks something like this, get us back into a more comfortable price range, which most likely comes with um, you know, a spot right here. So uh, 10 5 or something like that. Like not, not a big move, but a, a move nonetheless. Coming back up into range, uh, as you can see, if you're looking at this from last two weeks, I want to say here. Yeah, last two weeks here. Then you see, you see the point of control is at about 1100, four zeros, 1100. So I would expect that we're going to make a move back into that 1100 range. I don't think this market is really bleeding. Uh, I think the alts are, 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 you know, getting liquidated quite a bit, but the overall market was still, we're still healthy. Uh, we're just, you know, we're the post having blues doldrums. You know, I, I think I told you guys that uh, each one of these has was led by a 15 or 20 percent drop in price action. And it seems like that's probably what's going to happen again. Might not be that robust of a drop in price action, but there still should be a, a, a drop in the price action. So overall uh, trade volume down, overall trade volume up, but price action down seven percent so there was a mixed signal over here on what we're feeling so let's um let's go check out long dash as you can see right here um the the upgrades are going through for um uh for for the 1299 ibc so and everybody's voting yes on it everybody has voted yes on it so uh we're good to go there long burn tracker it's getting lower it's getting low and, and look it's getting lower because we don't have uh, we don't have a lot of trading going on now. When I say that, weeks is where you can trade for actual burns. So is Binance, and I'm looking at my data. Nobody's trading over on weeks. I'm getting very little engagement. So if you haven't already, consider trading on weeks to to start to create more burn in this uh, community. Sign up today. There's a, there's a link in the description below. Uh, also, Terra Casino, if you haven't already, uh, for your gaming experience and enjoyment, you can go over there and you can check that place out. Um, th they've got a lot going on as well. And then, of course, if you're not already and you need to do trading, stuff like that, Terraport Finance. Terraport Finance has uh, just a ton of different tokens that you can come over and start to trade. Let's show that right here. Uh, not only Luna Classic, but of course, you have the Terra Cremation. You've got Tritium, Osmo, uh, USDT and USDC, and BNB. Of course, USTC, GRDX, FRG, Frog, LUNW, Frog, Lenny Lunk, uh, TADF, uh, LNC, Sun, Eagle, Food, HMeme, Raykoff, Elon, and LWN. So there's a pretty robust sort of uh, group of pairings available here. And if you need to look at the liquidity to decide which ones that you do want to trade, you're able to look at the liquidity as well. So, <clears throat> and that includes any earning, uh, analytics, vesting, and governance. And uh, so you have some, some great opportunity there.
All right, guys, got a new project for you. Uh, that one's called MBA. Now, uh, to be specific, this is Mooner Baron Army. And uh, let's check this one out. This is a, 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 a newer token. And boom, there you go. So not a lot of trading volume, uh, as was as with some of these things. It's a startup. However, it's part of the Baron Network, uh, which is, by the way, uh, Baron Burn Validator, which is one of our validators. So they've created a token, and the, the purpose of the token is for burning. Now, I'm going to read some of this for you to give you kind of an idea of what they've accomplished so far. Uh, first of all, uh, they have an NFT collection. They created a Luna Classic Validator, which is called the Baron Burn Validator, uh, for buybacks of MBA token and Luna Classic Burns, multiple airdrops of other L2 projects, most recently the food token. So if you're part of the food token, which we talked about before, then you're going to have some, some airdrops for this token as well. Uh, staking partners on and off chain to increase buyback uh, for price appreciation and stability, usable for purchasing NFTs with the THC token, which is also built on Lunk. I think that's Lunk 420. Uh, they burnt the majority of the supply down to 15.3 million tokens. Uh, they have a planetary conquering video game uh, that helps burn Luna Classic and uses the MBA token. So uh, we're going to see a nice video game coming up pretty soon. When I have details, when I have um, uh, screenshots, stuff like that, we'll be checking that one out. Um, they're going to expand the NFT collection to use in the game as well. Uh, they're going to have a Terraport listing coming up. So Terraport that we just talked about where it's not listed, it will be listed. Then we have Stock Twits uh, listing available that, that that's popped up. Uh, and then Stock Twits, by the way, fantastic place if you are a new cryptocurrency and you want to start uh, to build your base. Uh, international marketing, current NFT future staking, increased economic pooling from buybacks. Uh, this is what they've done so far and some a little bit of what to come. So the NBA token is very unique. And is it powered by the burn uh, by the Baron Burner Validator that uses its commission to burn Luna Classic and buy back MBA to appreciate the prices and stabilize the LP. We call it economic pooling. The concept of is every person that holds MBA and stakes with Baron Burn, you actually profit off of our entire delegation count and not just your own. Example would be, let's say you're staking 10 million lunk with me and you still generate lunk from staking and our 10% commission we take in allows you to profit off of all the delegations which is currently around 300 million lunk via MBA token. So in actuality, holding MBA and staking with Baron Burn generates you higher returns than any other validator. We are very busy and have a great advisors and get a lot of work done for this project and have a lot to offer. So uh, if you guys are interested, I would certainly recommend that you go check out MBA. Now listen, there is a risk associated with each and every one of these projects. And I'm not saying anything that would be derogatory for MBA. I just want to point out that there's a risk involved with each one of these, whether it be food token, teratritium, any one of these. It takes you, the community, getting involved in all of these projects if you really want to see something happen here. Luna Classic is primed for a magnificent sort of run. I mean, you want to get to a dollar, you want to get to a penny, you want to get it to 10 cents, you want to get it to any one of these numbers. Now, I did tell you that I think it's going to be 2.8 cents during the bull run, but you know that that's, that's because of a, a lack of burns, in my opinion, that we haven't seen yet. And when we get the, the, the burns, the real burns, then, you know, maybe that changes, but as, as of this point right now, then, you know, hundred X from here or so kind of puts us in that range. If we get another nice little pump. So, uh, there is a big possibility coming for us. And I, and again, I do think that 2.8 cents is probably going to be around the goal. And of course, it's not going to be perfect, but we're in that cut, if you will, where this is the calm before what should be an epic altcoin storm. And all of these projects are going to start to see a lot of different activity because of retail returning. So uh, MBA, just going to be one of them. Now, again, you know, not everything is going to succeed uh, in in each one of these ecosystems. It takes your support. Um, weeks, if we want to burn a lot of tokens with weeks, it takes your support. Terra Casino, if you want to burn a lot and you want to enjoy a gaming experience um, uh, with some with some um, uh, slots or something like that, then that's your place to go. That's like like go over there and do that. And also, if you're uh, looking for a place to stake that's not on station, then Terraport.finance is a place to go where you can. Uh, do some staking as well. And again, MBA token is going to be on Terraport.finance at any point. So, you know, this, this entire ecosystem is here. It's built on top of Luna Classic. It's not its own blockchain. It's built on top of Luna Classic. And a lot of people are involved in it. And they want what's best for Luna Classic. We're not always all going to agree on what's best. There are people in there that I am familiar with and friends with that we don't agree 
on exactly what could or should happen or how we even get there. Guys, the bull run is almost here. The halving is almost here. The Hong Kong Ethereum ETF is almost here. You like ERC-20. We all like ERC-20. And the best way for you to accumulate more ERC-20 tokens or more Bitcoin, it's cryptonomy.finance. If you've been here before, you know that I've been talking about a lot of these tokens. There's over 400 that you can choose from. They offer an exchange with the, be with the best rates uh, without commissions and support from a highly qualified support and trading team 24-7. And this is available to every participant. Of course, you get immediate support if you are a VIP. And you can deposit UST into your Cryptonomy account. And then you can start to buy the desired assets that you want to use over here and exchange them as needed. Over 400 of them. And there's going to be a lot of updates coming out over the next couple of days, weeks, and months. So guys, if you are looking to advance your crypto portfolio, you need more tokens. Why not let the tokens that you currently have work for you? Go to cryptonomy.finance, sign up today, and let it grow. But that's the beauty of a decentralized DAO like Luna Classic is we can all have our own opinion and we're not subject to, um, you know, one person telling us what to do. We all have a say and that's called the voting process. And I would encourage you to validate, uh, send your validation only to the people who support what you believe is the right thing to do. And if you're doing that, and they're voting the wrong way and not in your better interest or what you feel is your better interest, undelegate and delegate to somebody who does. That's the important part. Go to somebody who actually cares about uh, what you care about. That's that's so important. So um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. By the way, really updated the uh, just stickers, right? But <laughs> really kind of expanded this whole ecosystem that I have here. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe button, the bell to be notified. It's not financial advice but I'm always right. You have a good day and we'll talk to you again very, very soon.